Hey guys, welcome to another video of mine. So, today's video is very exciting because today I'm going to be doing four looks using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill box, not, not box head, the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill vault collection. And this is very exciting actually because that's their second release for you know, an eyeshadow palette. And everybody's hyped up, everybody's going insane. And this video is going to help you guys figure out which palette you should buy because I have all of them right here. So I'm going to be doing looks featuring each and every palette and telling you what's good, what's bad, and everything full on review on each palette. So yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to subscribe down below. It's easy. It's not going to take you that long. Just press on the red button down there. It's going to help. And yeah, just jump right into the video. So the first palette I'm actually going to use is going to be Bling Boss, which is, which looks like that. It's very, very pretty. Mauves, purples, everything. I really like the tones of this palette. It looks very pretty. I kind of already used it once, just to kind of get the feel of the palette. So this is not a first impression, but it's fine. First thing I'm gonna do is, of course, prime my eyelids, and I'm gonna be using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I always use this, I love it so much. So now that I've primed my lids, I'm going to set them using the Cody Airspun Loose Powder. Now that we have a base for this palette, we're just gonna go ahead and start. I'm going to start off by taking the shade Hush Hush, which is this light, dusty rose shade. And I'm going to put that in my crease to kind of how does it act as a transition shade. Now moving on to the shade Rockstar, which is this purple shade. And I'm going to put that in my crease. For some reason, I kind of feel like it's a little patchy or not a little it's kind of patchy for some reason i don't know why i know this is supposedly the new and improved formula just i don't feel like it but i'm taking the shade we use as our transition and just buffing out the edge one more time so yeah now i'm going to be taking the shade sparks which is this reddish shade dark red shade and just apply that in the outer crease Look, it just gets patchy for some reason in the middle. This is my imagination. I don't know what. Sometimes I feel like I'm imagining stuff a little patchy, like in the middle right there between this part and that part. I don't even know why. I'm just going to take some concealer and cut the crease, and um, we'll be back with the shadow, with the shimmery shadow. Okay, now that I've cut the crease, I'm going to be taking the shade Glitz and Glam and I'm going to be applying that on the part where we cut the crease. Now that I've applied the crease shade, I'm just going to go back in with Rock uh, with Rockstar and Sparks. I'm going to mix these two shades together and just kind of diffuse the edge of the cut crease. So I'm just going to quickly apply lashes and the rest of my face and I'll be right back. So there we go guys, this is the first final look. Actually overall I really really like how this turned out and uh, the shadow looks so good, I love Action, the outcome I, I don't know personally I feel like it looks so good and I like the look I came up with it's very I don't know but I like it okay so I'm just going to take a pencil brush and taking the shade Rockstar and I'm going to smudge that on my lower lashes and the outer part of my lower lashes as well. and now I'm going to be taking a little bit of sparks which is the red shade and um, just also blended lower 
underneath the other shape. On my inner corners, I'm going to be taking shade Bling Bling, which is the first shade in the palette. This is a more pinky, very light pinky shade. So this is the final look. So now I'm just going to. Is, do you think it's possible to just remove the eyes without messing up the rest of the face? I don't think it is, but yeah. So next you're going to see me with nothing. Okay, so I kind of feel like I achieved the whole removing my eyes without my face thing. Um, it was pretty good. I'm gonna move on to the second palette, which is going to be the Ring the Alarm palette, which looks like that. Which is all red tone, berry tones, all warm tones basically. This palette just speaks to me, honestly. Like the shades are so my shades, and I just I'm in love with all the colors and everything. And like, come on. Of course, once again, I'm just going to prime my eyelids. So first I'm going to be starting off by taking the shade Rush, which is a warm tone orangey shade. Blend that in my crease. Now I'm going to be taking the shade Mugshot, which is this more browny orangey shade. I'm also blending that one more time in my crease. So far, I feel like this palette works a whole lot easier than the other one. Even though the other one turned out to be just as great at the end. But just working with it kind of was a little bit hard for some reason, I don't know why, but this one is a whole lot easier. Speaking of warm tones, I need to remove that lip. Now taking the shade Alert, which is a more darker orange shade. And blending that also further in my crease. I'm just trying to make it so dark. Going back into Rush, which was the lightest, I'm just going to try to blend the outer edge a little bit. Now I'm going to be taking a smaller tapered blending brush and going into the shade Secret, which is a brown shade. I'm just going to darken out the outer V of the crease. So I'm going to be taking the shade Boom and I'm going to apply that kind of all over the lid. I'm also just going to spray it even though it does not, I don't feel like it needs that much spraying, but I'm just going to spray it because I don't want any fallout on my, on my face. In the palette, it does not look like it's going to be something, but once you apply it on the eyes, it's something else. I'm going to be taking this small tapered brush again and going in with the shade Secret, which is the dark brown and just, of course, smoking out the outer edge one more time. Okay, I'm going to apply some eyeliner and, you know, lashes and then we'll come right and then we'll be back for the lower lash line. Okay, so for my lower lash line, I just smudged the shade Secret on the outer part of my lower lash line, then taking the shade Alert on the just right underneath that, all the way to the inner part, and then the last part, which is the inner part of my lower lash line, I just took the shade Boom to smudge everything out, and for my inner corners, I actually used my highlighter. Okay, so that is the second look all completed. I'm loving, I'm loving this look because it's a warm tone look and it's my kind of shade, you know? And I feel like this look actually really does represent this palette since it's called Ring the Alarm and uh, yeah, I like it. Let's just keep going and see the rest of the palette. It's time for the third palette and it's just going to be the Dark Magic palette which looks I've already primed my lids and set them, so we're just gonna jump right in. I'm gonna be taking the shade Poof, which is a very, it's a creamy shade, 
the palette and I'm just going to kind of apply it all over my lid. Next, I'm going to be taking the shade which is more taupey shade. And I'm just going to blend that in my crease. So this palette is actually more catered towards people who love cool tones and smoky eyes. So if you're into that, I think you're really going to like this palette. Inside Job, which is forest green shade. I'm going to be taking that shade on the small tapered blending brush. It's kind of a little patchy in a way. So I'm going to be taking a pencil brush just to kind of focus it on that area. Sorry if my energy is kind of going down throughout this video. It's just, this is the third look. So I'm kind of getting a little bit exhausted. Now I'm going to be taking the shade Power Cut, which is a silver shade in the... Okay, now I'm kind of going to take the shade Trickery, which is a shimmery green shade, and I'm going to kind of blend it in with Power Cut. Now, taking the tapered blending brush one more time, I'm taking Inside Job, which is the matte dark shade, and blend that in the crease, in the outer edge. Okay, taking the big blending brush one more time, going in with and just blending the outer edges. I'm going to be taking a little bit of Temptress, which is the black in the palette. Not too much, with a very, very tiny blending brush on the very outer part, just to kind of smoke it out a bit more. That's it! I'm really liking how it ended up looking at the end. For the lash, I'm going to be taking the shade Busted, which is a navy, dark navy blue shade. For my inner corners, I'm going to be taking the shade Power Cut one more time and just apply that. Gonna apply lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the final look using the Dark Magic palette. And actually, I really like it. Uh, at first, it was kind of a little patchy. I don't know why at the end, like at the outer edge. But for some reason, that actually happened with the other palette, which was Blink Boss. For some reason, after I applied the shimmery shadow and just tried to blend everything together, it actually wasn't that patchy anymore. I don't get that, but... It's still a very nice palette, very smoky for those of you who are into smoky shadows and cool tones and all that. So yeah, that is this look done. On to the fourth and the final look. Okay, and finally we're making it to the last look of this video. My eyes are burning right now. They can't take it anymore, they're just trying to finish the video. And yeah, so let's just jump right into the last palettes armed and gorgeous palettes I love the look of this palette it just looks so fall I guess that's what I could call it and I'm really into fall colors I don't know if you know this but like one of my all-time favorite palettes is actually the subculture palette which a lot of people don't really like let's jump right in okay, I'm going in to use the shade axis which is a more mustardy yellow shade and I'm just going to apply that on I'm going to apply that in my crease. Now I'm going to be taking the shade Asian, which is a more orangey, it's an orangey brown shade. Like it's not a very orangey shade, but it's still kind of falls down, kind of falls into the orange category. So. Now taking the shade Secure, which is an orange shade, the actual orange shade in the palette, and just further blend out and darken out the crease. 
And now I'm gonna be taking this Smooth Criminal shade, which is a more chocolatey brown, and taking the tapered blending brush, and I'm just going to blend that in my crease. Taking the shade Asian one more time, I'm just going to blend the outer edge one more time. So now I'm gonna be going in with the shade Coin and apply that on my lid. Oh my god, wow. Oh my god, this shade is so pigmented. It definitely has more fallout than the rest of the sh shimmery shades that I've used. I feel like if you pat it in, you're not really getting a lot of fallout, so. Now I'm gonna be taking the shade Smooth Criminal mixed in with Secure. And very slightly, I'm going to go over that coin shade on my, in my inner part of the crease, kind of kind of create like an illusion of a cut crease without actually doing the work of cut crease. Taking this shade Smooth Criminal one more time on the outer edge. Just Taking the shade Prowl, or however you spell it, which is a very dark brown, and just darken the outer, very very outer part of the eye. And for the lower lash line, I'm going to be taking the shade Top Secret, which is this green, army green shade. And for the inner part of my eyes, I'm going to be taking this shade VIP, which is a white shimmer shade, and just go in. I'm going to finish my eyes, which means I'm going to apply... <laughs> Final last step. I'm gonna apply the lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, and we're finally done with all the looks. And this is the last look using the Armed and Gorgeous palette. And I gotta say, I really, really love this palette so much. Actually, I really do love all the palettes. Like, they're all unique in their own way. And I really do like them all. Uh, personally, of course, I will have preference because my kind of preference and colors are usually warm tones and, yeah, just warm tones. So, personally, I would definitely prefer Armed and Gorgeous and Ring the Alarm palette. But, but overall, they're all amazing and I really do love them all. Jacqueline and Morphe did an incredible job, especially with the whole situation of them release, being released first and then kind of having problems with the formula and then, you know, having to reformulate it and, you know, sell it again, I guess. That's what you're going to call it. For some reason, I kind of experienced some issues using the Dark Magic palette and the Blink Boss. I don't know why, just, I don't know, but maybe, maybe because they're darker shades and usually darker shades are harder to work and harder to formulate, so that's probably why, but overall, like at the end, the look turned out to be incredible, and I really do like all of the palettes, so Dark Magic, Bling Boss, y'all were amazing. So yeah, that is my review for the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palettes, this is ring the alarm and this is armed and gorgeous just for you just for reference one more time and yeah overall i'm really really glad i got the full collection because i really do like them and i feel like each palette is unique in their own way and each palette has different shades that i personally don't have i mean except for armed and gorgeous and ring the alarm i kind of have similar shades in other palettes but these two i feel like I don't. I mean, I don't have a full cool-toned blue palette. And I was actually contemplating whether to get the new Norvina palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. But after getting this, I feel like I don't really need to get the Norvina one since now I already have a purple uh, palette. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!
It's so weird having someone 